Greetings and thankful Thursday. Please take a look with me at Numbers chapter 31, verse 49. They told him, your servants have counted the warriors under our command and not one man of us is missing. Now just for a moment, consider the largest gathering that you have ever been to. Maybe it was a concert or a conference of some kind. How many people were there? Was it a few hundred or maybe a thousand? Now we're gonna multiply that by at least 600. Minus a few thousand, that's how many men needed to be accounted for when Israel was traveling. That's not even counting the women and the children. So now picture all of the people that you know. According to the New York Times, uh, there's an article that says that the average American knows about 600 people. Now my question is, when's the last time we spoke to them? Hmm. Second Peter 3, 9 tells us that God desires that none should perish but that everyone would come to repentance. Now, I'm not saying that you need to make 600 phone calls every day, right? But what I am encouraging us to do is to be very intentional about how we interact with other people. You might not care to see your you know, very mean boss up in heaven, but God would like to. So that means that our interactions with that person really do matter because we are meant to be the light of the world. Now, what I also want us to think about, you all know how I feel about circles of intimacy, right? Pull some people into your circles who you can really look out for and who you can be accountable to and for. We'd like to create that with Young at Heart. Um, and hopefully you're going to be part of creating lots of mini circles in this big world of ours. That way, one day we can all stand before the Lord and tell him that not one of our men or women is missing. Love to all. You know, a great way that can create community is by coming to Bible study tonight at 7 o'clock. I'll see you there. God bless.